Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Lauren. If you're new, today's video is gonna be kind of like a fall vlog. We're gonna go pick out some pumpkins, carve some pumpkins, and make a nice fall soup. We're halfway through October, almost towards the end, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to carve a pumpkin, maybe watch a Halloween movie like Hocus Pocus, make a soup, and enjoy the Halloween season. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Since we are cooking a fall style soup, it leads me into today's sponsor of this video, which is Caraway. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, then you know that I worked with Caraway at the beginning of this year and that's when I first discovered Caraway and the importance of non-toxic cookware and cooking with that style of um, pots and pans. So I'm gonna scoot the camera back a little bit. But if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know I meal prep on a weekly basis for work. I am constantly cooking to try and save money and since discovering Caraway, it has completely changed my cooking experience because for one, they are non-toxic and two, they are non-stick as well, which makes the cooking and cleanup process really easy. And lastly, I think my favorite part of it is this pan right here. It is so large, so when I am meal prepping, I meal prep for my boyfriend and I. It makes it so easy to meal prep eight meals for four days for each of us for our lunches for the week so it makes cooking large amounts of food very easy and it cuts my meal prep time in half since using that big pan i love their selection of pots and pans as well i feel like you can cook so many different dishes with this four piece set right here. They also just came out with a mini selection which cook smaller portions of food. They have a tea kettle now and they also have a bakeware which I have right here. One thing I think that Caraway has definitely mastered is their storage component of each piece of either bakeware, cookware, the lids, everything. It makes it so easy to store each item without it taking up too much space in your kitchen, which I love, especially for apartments. It makes it so it's not taking up so much of the space in your cabinet so you can put other items in there. So the bakeware comes with this, which has everything standing up. It has little cubbies for each item which I love. If you guys have seen my original video with Caraway, then you know that the pots and pans come with these little dividers that stand the pan up like this, and they all magnetically connect to each other as well, which makes storing your pots and pans really easy, and it definitely utilizes the space in your cabinet better. And it comes with three lids, so one of the lids fits two of the pots and it comes with this little rack. I unfortunately can't use this rack yet because my cabinets are too narrow for it, but I'm saving it for when I do eventually move into a house so I can hang it up. But the lids sit super nicely in here for easy storage on your cabinet inside of it, which is super, super nice. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, then you definitely know or have seen me use these pots and pans in basically every single video. They have truly made such a difference with cooking. And since the holidays are approaching, I do have a discount code with Caraway, and I think it'd be the perfect gift for one yourself if you have a goal to maybe get in the kitchen more, save more money, not eat out as much, or start meal prepping for work so you're not eating out for lunch every day, this is definitely something that you would want to invest in. I also think it's a great gift for your best friend. If you have a group of girls, you maybe want to get together and split this to get for a friend, or if you want to get it for your parents, um, you can split it with your siblings. It'd be a great gift for family, friends, and basically anybody to kind of get them inspired, get them in the kitchen. I know nothing inspires me more than getting new pots and pans 
or good quality pots and pans. If you guys are interested in getting Caraway for yourself or for a friend or for a family member, I have a discount code. I'll put it on the screen right here and I'll also link it down below. Truly can't recommend Caraway more. The pots and pans have held up so great since February when I first received them. Literally no complaints. They still look brand new. And that's definitely something super important. You wanna make sure that the quality of the pots and pans that you're gonna be investing in for yourself or someone else is definitely going to withstand the daily use of cooking and cleaning them. So I can definitely say that these pots and pans have lasted for months now and still look brand new and still work just as good as the first day that I used them. So thank you so much Caraway for sponsoring and working with me on this video. All of the details will be linked down below. Definitely let me know if you guys have tried Caraway or used Caraway pots and pans in your daily lives. I would love to hear your guys' experience with them. So thank you again. All the details will be linked down below. Okay, we are in the car now. I'm so excited for this vlog. I've actually never carved a pumpkin in my life, so I'm so excited to carve a pumpkin. I'm so excited to cook a nice fall soup. I'll obviously share with you guys that recipe. Also, tomorrow is my dad's 80th birthday, and I know 80, I feel like 80, to have a dad who's in their 80s, I feel like I'm in a very small, a group of people that are have the same father age parent age but tomorrow's my dad's 80th birthday and I'm actually about to head to his house right now he's not there he's not gonna be there till tomorrow because now I can finally say what we're doing um, because he watches my YouTube videos but now I can share what we're doing we me and my siblings my older brother and sister and my twin brother my younger sister we all decided to throw him a surprise birthday party and he's a retired radiologist he has such a huge network of people colleagues um, I guess old colleagues just a ton of friends he truly can make friends with literally anyone he's very outgoing talkative just such a great person and we are throwing him a surprise party so we reached out to a ton of his old colleagues and his friends and we're all gonna get together at his house tomorrow so we're gonna go decorate today and um, I'm just so excited and you know as he like gets older he doesn't really want to celebrate birthdays but 80 is such like a big year and I just want him to know every day like how appreciative we as like a family and me and my siblings are of him every single day he is such a an amazing person so I really hope he feels super special tomorrow and loved and I think at the end of the day what he wants for his birthday is for everyone to be together so that's what's going on today and then I'm gonna come back pick Christian up we're probably gonna go get lunch stuff like that and get the pumpkin soup stuff just going so I'm so excited start off our full day we got pumpkin cold brews we got a grande cold brew with one pump of vanilla and one pump of pumpkin with light almond milk now we're going to a pumpkin patch but we start off with some Starbucks Patch. Then we went to Publix after the pumpkin patch and got all of the ingredients for the soup that I'm gonna be making tonight. It's gonna be a pump, not a pumpkin, a potato soup. I know it's not super fall, but it's still a soup and I feel like I associate soup with fall. But this is the pumpkin that I picked out. I was looking for one that was kind of tall and that was gonna be easy for me to carve since I've never carved one before and Christian has never carved one either before in his life so we're doing it together for the first time and then when we were in Publix we got this carving kit and it comes with stencils 
so that will make it really easy on us too i don't really know i'm deciding between two different stencils to pick for my pumpkin and then this is christian's pumpkin look how it's literally like bigger than my head they're kind of they're totally different in size i'm gonna i'm gonna cut a hole in the bottom of mine where is the helmet and then um and i think christian's gonna do the ghost right you decide on the ghost um we got little led lights to put inside and i think we're gonna put it on our balcony once we're done so we're gonna carve the pumpkins it's 5 30 so we're gonna carve them first and then i'm gonna cook dinner but i'm a little bit nervous because i mean we've never done this before so i don't even know how hard it's gonna be and we're also gonna cook the pumpkin seeds in the oven we're gonna roast them so that way we can snack on them too yeah i'm gonna go first okay yeah, I'm deciding between trick or treat or like a face. Oh, it tells you how difficult it is. The ghost is a level three. Do you want to do that? Are you sure? Trick or treat is a level three. I want, really want to do this. Trick or treat, like really bad. But the little, the little face is a one. And I don't know, should I just play it safe and do the one? I really want to do the trick or treat. I think it's so cute, but I'm scared. Okay, you guys, not bad for first time pumpkin carving. We put the little light inside. Honestly, they turned out so cute. I literally love them. Here, I'll show you with the light on now. I mean, you can't really tell with the light on, but with the light off, they look so good. The stars were really hard for me. I don't even know if you could tell, but look at that. <laughs> They were really hard for me to do. And this one kind of went into the R. But, and Christian did such a good job. We did level three carving for the first time. This one took me two hours. Christian was done way before me. Cause I just decided to pick one that took so long. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram story. But it is 7.30 now. So we started carving at 5.30. I'm gonna start cooking the soup right now, but I wanted to show show you guys these. I think they're so cute. Okay, just finished making the potato soup. It looks so good. It smells good, so I can't wait to eat it. Okay, I'm preheating the oven. We just finished dinner. It was so yummy and delicious. I highly recommend, so I'll link that recipe down below. Now, we're gonna take the pumpkin seeds that we scooped out of our pumpkins, and we're gonna roast them. So we're just gonna do avocado oil, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and then a little bit of paprika and I'm using one of the caraway nonstick pans so now I can show this pan in action for cooking these 
Okay, pulled these out of the oven. Christian already went in on them, but they're so good. So I'm gonna put them in a Tupperware so we can snack on them for the next few days. It is um, Monday morning and I actually thought I would vlog a little bit more than I did yesterday but I was kind of re-meeting or seeing people that I haven't seen since I was really little so I was literally talking to so many different people all day yesterday it was such a good turnout of a surprise birthday party and I feel like he knew something was up, but he didn't know exactly like what was going to be happening. So a lot of his longtime friends showed up yesterday and it was just so good to just see him. He was so happy to see people that he doesn't get to see all the time. So that was really nice and I enjoyed it. And it was just a really good turnout and super fun. But now it's Monday and I just made myself a little yogurt, pineapple, and granola bowl. And I have an interview today at 1. Um, it's just a phone interview, another one. It's my third phone interview with this company. So I'm not sure if there's going to be like a fourth interview where it's in person. I'm really not sure what to expect. But it's been going really great so far. So I'm hoping that... Maybe I hear, I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I really don't know. I don't know if, um, I don't know what to expect after this phone call. I don't know if they're going to want to bring me in for another interview or what. So I'll keep you guys updated, but I am just going to eat this breakfast. Um, I have some leftovers from dinner last night for lunch and I kind of want to go to the grocery store. I know I went over the weekend, but Christian and I just picked up stuff for soup. So we really didn't get the groceries for the week. Um, I'm currently doing some laundry. We have friends coming into town um, Wednesday night and staying with us through Sunday. And then some other friends are coming in on Friday celebrating one of my friend's birthdays, Sam, and I'm just really excited. So, I'm really hopeful for this week. I'm really hopeful that I will hear back from a job, but I don't want to jinx it because I feel like I was really hopeful for two jobs and they both didn't turn out well. So, I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just like going, trying to go with the flow. So, we'll see what happens today. I'll keep you guys updated and um, i'm gonna edit a video i already started applying for jobs like for the first half of the day it's 11 o'clock right now so i woke up at 7 30 and started applying for jobs and i just got ready and made some breakfast so i'm gonna take a little bit of a break to eat and then go back to it and then have that phone call but um, i thought i would carry the vlog into today because i really didn't vlog much yesterday and yeah so I'm gonna eat and then I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. Okay, so a little update. I just got off the phone with, or doing my third interview and I think I got the job. I'm meeting everyone tomorrow at two, 
but I haven't been like formally asked to accept the job, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of in this like weird like in between, but it's, it's really looking hopeful. So I could have a job tomorrow. I don't know when I'd start, but all good things. So um, it's two o'clock. I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and get like a few little groceries and then some like frozen stuff, not like a huge restock. Um, probably gonna do that in a few weeks once I get back into a paycheck life and having money coming in. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited you guys. I could, I'm obviously gonna end the vlog today, but in my next vlog, I could have a job and that's so exciting. Um, but I just wanted to update you guys on the phone call because I told you guys about it and things are just looking really good. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and I'll do a haul when I get back and then um, probably work out when I get back home as well, so. Okay, my center island is a disaster. I need to clean this up, but I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's haul and then I'm probably gonna end off the vlog. Also, if you can hear Christian in the background, he's on the phone. So I got um, sugar snap peas and carrots to go with this spicy hummus dip. I've never tried this hummus before, but I just wanted to get some type of dip for some vegetables and I don't feel like going back to Publix. So this isn't the usual hummus that I get, but Got this vegan creamy dill dressing. This is so good. I got some of this roasted teriyaki seaweed just to have as like a little snack in the afternoons. Something to just grab and go. Got this holiday vegetable hash. It has butternut squash, sweet potato, red onion, celery, parsley, sage, and rosemary. It sounded so good to put over salads or even just mix it with my eggs in the morning. Got these pomegranate seeds. Christian, I love these. They're so yummy. Got these elote corn chip dippers with this chunky guacamole. It's so good. Got arugula for salads, grape tomatoes for salads, and got a white onion for um, like tacos or eggs, like an omelet or whatever. Got this goat cheese and tender tomato ravioli. This is so delicious. Got this heart of palm pasta as like an easy dinner side. Trader Joe's was honestly so cleared out. I went for frozen foods and I came out with zero frozen foods besides mango. And I'm probably gonna have to go back later in the week to just get some like easy dinner stuff. I went kind of hungry, so this trail mix looked really yummy. So I picked this up, some avocados, lemons, avocado oil spray. I got this chicken to put on salads for my lunches for the week. I got some pico, got some eggs for breakfast, some mango for smoothies, and then I got this for maybe some sandwiches or just to snack on. And then I got dishwasher pods <laughs> and toilet paper from Target. So that's the haul, just a little haul. But I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here. I'm gonna pick up the camera later in the week and I'll fill you guys in on what happens tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys at the end of this week bye